Joe Kemp. I live in southern Indiana with my husband and our two little children and thank you for being here. Those videos where it's a good one to watch while you're doing laundry or busy with a project because I'm just gonna be sitting here chatting with y'all and I need to stop clicking this pen. Um, I don't know why. I get these little nervous ticks or something. I don't, I don't think I'm nervous, but I might be because it's been so long since I've been on here like chatting with y'all face to face and I I don't know. I think it's a combination of reasons. I've I'm really busy, but some some times when I'm busy in life like it's a good busy where I can still film and post on YouTube videos for you guys. And other times, it's like, it just feels like it's not physically possible. And I just came through a season of my life where it kind of felt that way. Um, there's a lot of different things I don't know that I've ever shared on here extensively how many different hobbies that I dabble in, but it's kind of a lot. And so that just kind of makes it hard um, some things I don't share for just kind of privacy reasons. If you follow me on on Instagram, you probably know some of those things. Um, other things, they're just... I just, I like to keep some things private. Like, not private maybe, but not like on YouTube. <laughs> um, so if you know me better, you probably know some of those, what some of those things are. But, um, yeah, I just have this thing where I'm just... I just, my brain just tells me that if you don't know how to do something, like if you have this figured out, move on to the next thing, figure that out. Well, um, it sometimes is good, but it sometimes can be um, a little bit of a challenge because we all know that to become successful, you're better off sticking with what you know sometimes. So that's completely often of an trail. I I've never been diagnosed with ADD, but I'm pretty sure I have a touch of it, um, or maybe a lot, I don't even know, but I just, my brain is, it works in mysterious ways. <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, back to the, this video, the goal of this video, I thought I would share with you guys a little bit of a recap of, of last year, some of the things that maybe, maybe got missed on YouTube just because of the fact that I was so busy and kind of MIA from YouTube. So that I will share a couple highlights from last year. I will say some things I'm sure I'll miss a lot because as I said, my brain works in mysterious ways. And <laughs> not not good mis mysterious. <laughs> anyway, I am drinking. This is a this is a hearth in hand coffee cup. Ice coffee, whatever, tumbler, it's glass. It's kind of a dark tinted black. I think you should be able to get them at Target. If your Target doesn't have them right now, they probably will soon. But I think it's like $10 and I think that's what they cost. I My sister-in-law gave it to me. So sweet of her. She really blessed me for Christmas when above and beyond. <laughs> um, she lives close to me and she also has two little children. So we have, we have a lot of good times together. Um, definitely. She's a big blessing to my life. So it's from last year. And then I will share some of my goals for this year and some of the things I plan on changing or doing more of or less of, or yeah, just kind of my ideal for this this year. I don't make like, I don't make like New Year's resolutions or I don't even have no, I don't even have a word of the year this year. I have, I used to do that all the time, like have a word of the year, but it seemed like by the end of the year, I kind of forgot what my word was. And like, what's the point of having a word if I don't 
have, if I don't even like pay attention to it, but I do have like some ideals. Um, I have a verse, which I will maybe share later. Um, and I have some goals, but I don't have, have like a word and I don't have like New Year's resolutions. I just have goals of things that I'd like to work on or do better in or yeah, that type of thing. So back to 2023, let's start at the beginning. It was a really, really good year, but it was also had some really, really tough spots. Um, some things for us as a family that were really hard to go through um, emotionally. And yeah, I just, I just hope that, you know, that one thing I like about tough things in life is I think it helps us to appreciate the good things and it helps us to appreciate the people that do care or like if we feel like you know whatever relationship or whatever those whatever the issues might be um that we go through in life it helps us to appreciate the good ones so much more if our kids are sick for three weeks straight and they get better and we just for the next while we just we're just like man this is so good we just thank god so much for the blessing of good health and i just it just makes it makes me i love it but it makes me kind of sad because why can we not appreciate the good thing when we have it why does it have to be that we have to lose it before we can appreciate it why can't we learn from other people's mistakes why can't we learn from other people's fights or other people's you know losses or whatever like why why does it take us going through it for us to learn to appreciate what we have and so that's something that I want to focus on this year as well is to appreciate what I have before I don't have it and just be more intentional whether it's with my children whether it's with my family um, our extended families appreciate what you have and love with your whole heart don't hold back don't be too too selfish to say I'm sorry don't be too proud to say I'm sorry because at the end of the day when you lose your friend or you lose your something happens to someone you will never regret that you said I'm sorry that you said I love you that you spent time with them you will never regret that but you will regret if you missed that opportunity you missed an opportunity to make a difference in their lives you missed an opportunity to get wisdom from them you missed an opportunity to show them love in some way or appreciation and that is my goal for this year is to just really tune in on some of those things so here i'm starting on my goals that's something that i want to do this year um but now we're gonna go and recap y'all y'all are just really getting the whole the whole thing here of how my brain works i can't focus on like things if i don't have them all written out in front of me i don't i like have like a couple things written here and that's it like not much at all um but i'm not gonna show you because there's some kind of personal things on here um but let's go back to 2023 First of all, I have my phone on the charger because it just dies way too fast. And you love this blanket. I just love it. It's like so thick and heavy and it just like lays on top of our bed. And when we're like, when we're in bed sleeping, it like makes it like way warmer and our upstairs is kind of cold because it's not insulated very well. So it's perfect right now. Anyway, back to January of 2023. First of all, the beginning of the year, January it's it's that month where it's good and it's you know whatever it's just kind of one of those like good yet crazy not crazy months but it's like you're slowing down the holidays and you're like okay now I have to like recalibrate my thinking like we just came through all these holidays and now I have to start thinking about the next year and goals I love January because it just feels like you're starting with a 
clean slate or something. I don't know why, but like a whole new year, a whole new chance to, <laughs> and you have that chance every single day. Why do we think of January as like this, oh, this thing? Like, oh, you can do this. You could get up every morning and think of it like that. But nevertheless, that's how we operate. So our brains work. So in January, I went with um, my sister-in-law that is like my brother, my husband's younger sister, and I went to Missouri for my friend's bridal shower. Um, that was really fun. I got to spend some time with her, um, one of my best friends, for many years. And then that was in January. That was one trip we did. Otherwise, January was just like a normal January pretty much for us. February we went to Branson for a convention. Um, February was also when Lakin turned one, so had a birthday party for him. And man, those little babies, they just grew up so fast. In March, we ended up going back out to Missouri for my best friend's wedding. So that was that was fun, yeah. It was pretty fun, but it was pretty terrible <laughs> at the same time. Um, if you have little children, you know what I'm talking about. They got sick with the stomach flu while we were on the trip, and it was awful. That part of it was awful. I was glad we were able to go to the wedding and all be at the wedding. But then that evening, I got sick, and Larry, we all got sick with the stomach flu. So it was just, it was pretty miserable. Um, but we were there for the wedding, so... I was just counting my blessings that I at least was there for, you know, part of it. And then, um, April was, April is our anniversary. It's Kinsley's birthday. So, you know, we have little celebrations of that stuff. Um, but like we didn't, we were planted garden. We did a bunch of stuff like that. I don't think we had any trips in April. In May, we... As some of you might know that my husband has like a construction and roofing business with my brother and so that spring is always a really busy time for them and so yeah that's just all those things happening in the spring um, in May we did different fun things I helped out with a the like all the local widows in like Davis County um, would they do like a, a widow's supper type of thing? And so that was, that was something I helped out with. There was just, yeah, a lot of, a lot of different things. I'm trying to find some pictures here so I can reference to what we, what all we did that y'all probably didn't even find out about. The end of May, we went to Missouri again for, um, one of my sister-in-laws had a gender reveal for their baby. And so we went out for that in the end of May for the weekend. I think it was like um, Memorial Day weekend that we were out there. And then in the end of May, my parents were, or June, my parents were going to move out of their place. Um, they were, they had sold their, sold their house. And so they need to move out. So my sister came and... We spent like pretty much the whole month of June with family here and just helping my parents move and work on their other place that they're building. And um, we went to uh, Ohio t two different weekends. Was it two weekends in a row? Or maybe there was one weekend in between there that we went to Ohio for family get togethers on my side of the family. My um, my grandma had a birthday party. We had a birthday party for my grandma. So my sister and I made a bunch of cakes and cupcakes and stuff for that. When she was here, it was so much fun. We had so much time with family, but it was an extremely busy month because there was just so many things to go through. We were packing my parents' house and um, just, yeah, I would make food quite a bit for when they were here. And it was just, we were... So we were gone like pretty much I was gone every day I know that but like I don't know like <laughs> all the it was just extremely 
busy and like I had no time to like film or even edit even if I would have had time to film I wouldn't have had time to edit it was just like such a busy month um and then like I said on top of that we went to Ohio twice two different weekends in there as well and so yeah it was just a really busy time and then in J that was also Larian's birthday is in June as well so we did something to celebrate that um July we um I don't even know what all we did in July I think we were home most of July and then we went camping I think I think we went camping did we go camping at end of June and then maybe in July again so we just yeah we had a lot of camping stuff going on too with our friends we have some friends that we go camping with every year and then sometimes we just go camping with family it's yeah it's we love camping anymore um and so yeah it's just it's just you know busy summer stuff in august we went to colorado which y'all saw a video of that um that was a really fun trip i'll i'll tag it up here um somewhere uh our trip to colorado if you haven't watched that video you should definitely watch it there's so many fun things to do in colorado and we have i have two brothers that live out there um and we hadn't gone since we have even like we haven't even gone since we've been dating like the last time i went out there was before i was dating Larian. so it was it was a long time um so we went out there we visited our friends on the way home that also live in colorado and we just had a really good time and that was i think we we're gone like 10 days or so i'm not even sure exactly how long we were gone um end of august was my birthday we didn't really do much we kind of <laughs> we kind of like we were just busy um working again because we were gone for like close to two weeks and plus then we went for labor day weekend we went out to um branson missouri to spend the weekend with my husband's whole family um and so we went we got an airbnb out there um his parents got an airbnb and we all stayed there and so that was fun we went to look at do different stuff in branson and that was yeah a nice long relaxing weekend and that was september and then and then we had our dogs were ready for the market we have several we have golden retrievers and we have one golden doodle um female so every so often <laughs> we have litters of puppies so that's always something that i i generally get them ready and like give them their vaccinations and you know take them to the vets and all of that stuff is stuff that i normally do it's kind of my my thing I guess um so that is something else that I am busy with so in September we had another uh, like a pretty big litter of puppies that we had I had to take you know get ready and sell and meet with the buyers and all of those things um September we also had our church camping weekend usually it's like from Friday night until Sunday afternoon that we all like get together at a campsite and we all camp and not everyone camps but some people just come during the day but we camped this year it was so much fun our church has grown by leaps and bounds lately um i think it's about twice the size that it, it now than it was when we started going to our church um about was it three or four years ago <clears throat> four years ago i think it was yeah and so it's grown a lot um but yeah, it's just camping, church camping is like one of my favorite weekends of the year because it's like we can grow together as a church. We just sit out by the campfire and just have the best talks and laughs and yes, it's just a really good time. Um, you just get to know people better. You can, you know, have deep chats around the fire and it's, it's really, really, um, uplifting weekend so anyway that's always in september um or normally i think it's in september lots of fall things were like festivals we went to a covered bridge festival with some of my friends um 
there's so many different fall activities that I did not record that we did. Some that I did record and I actually just didn't get them made into videos. Like I didn't have time to edit them. So there's that. Um, we went to the Smoky Mountains in October with um, my brother that my husband is in business with. So him, my brother and his wife and their two kids, we went to the Smoky Mountains and with them and we had an Airbnb and it was really fun. We just had a really nice weekend. It was like when the fall foliage was like in peak season, peak, the literally the peak weekend, I think. And it was just gorgeous. It was so pretty. I could not get over it. And I might put that into a video yet for me. I know it's not fall anymore. So I don't even know if people would want to watch it. But I was like, I should just make a video and put it on YouTube just so that I have it for to look it back at on later. Because this is funny, kind of funny to me. But my kids occasionally will want to be like to watch videos that I make. So... I will go on YouTube and sometimes we watch other YouTubers as well, um, but they like to watch Megan Fox and a couple a couple other ones as well, but um, sometimes they will go and watch a bunch of our old videos and a bunch of my old videos and they just, they love that. They're like, mommy, can I go watch videos that you made? <laughs> so sometimes I like to have videos just for the purpose of us looking back on them and so yeah, um, that's, I might just make some videos yet from last fall that I, footage that I have that I just never had time to make. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see once. Um, and then November, we went to my sister in Kansas for Thanksgiving. Um, we were there for a nice long weekend. It was, we had so much fun. Um, and... I don't even, I don't even know, like, we had, I was doing food stuff, food orders for people, I was doing some baking for people and stuff like that, and December's same story, <laughs> we ended up, um, staying home for Christmas, we had, we ended up having company, like, Christmas Eve, and then we were gone for, like, Christmas lunch, we were at, with my husband's, um, at my husband's uncle's house, with like his aunts and uncles and grandparents and then um that evening we had company as well and we just had some friends over that night and had a really good we had a really good Christmas and New Year's weekend good time so um yeah that was pretty much kind of the highlights and it was all in all a really good year, a really busy year, and now. Anyway, so, goals for 2024. The first, some of the, my goals for YouTube are basically, um, basically, I'm gonna try to, um, put a video out every Thursday. Um, if, for whatever reason, something comes up and I just feel like I can't, my family's my family is more important than YouTube videos or anything else for that matter. So I'm not saying there won't be a time where I'll skip, but if I do, I will try and put a notice on YouTube if I have to skip a week for some reason. But I'm gonna try to put one out every Thursday. And then another thing that I'm working on is I'm working on perfecting my current um, just a day, weekly routine type of thing. Um, but I thought I would share that with you, but then I was like, I'm still, like, I kind of ch changed some things around, kind of trying some, some new things, and I kind of want to see if I, like, how well it works for me, and how much I go by it before I just put it out there that I'm doing this, and then all of a sudden I'm not doing it. Um, I want to make sure it's what I like and what works for me before I share it for sure but there's some some things I'm changing like just like how I do some of my housework how I can get things done more efficiently while also being a busy mom and having other hobbies we leave a lot we have a lot of things going in general so I can't just 
like, oh, this day and this day I do laundry all day or whatever. I do have a lot of laundry because I have two kids and not going to lie, if I don't do laundry for two days, I probably will end up with 12 loads. So I just, yeah, I just don't operate like that. <laughs> um, I do sometimes have to do laundry, a lot of laundry in a day. But what I'm saying is like, I will, there's some things I'm working on on how to get my work done better in the midst of my busy schedule otherwise. So yeah, I will share that with you maybe in a future video, hopefully soon. Um, and the next thing I want to do is I just want to spend more time with my children. This is actually the first thing I want to do, but for some reason I don't have things in order on here. But the biggest thing that I want to do differently and part of the reason why I want to have a better schedule is so I can spend more time with my children. I feel like the last year was so busy that sometimes we didn't have enough time to just sit down and read a book or go to the park and play or whatever. Just like sit down, have more intentional playtime with my children. And um, Kinsley is at the age where she likes to do schoolwork and she likes to do these little things. And a lot of it she can do. She's really smart. She can do it by herself sometimes. But there's things that she needs my help with. And I want to be more intentional about sitting down and spending time helping her with those things. Um, and just, yeah, just in general, um, doing more things. And another thing is being outside more. Right now it's extremely cold, so I'm not talking about right now because I can't handle the cold. My kids can't either. Like, we're not cold. We're not fans of the cold weather. But as soon as it's springtime, summertime, I'm going to try to keep track of our hours outside this year. I've never done that before, but I know a lot of people talk about the thousand hours outside. I'm pretty sure we don't hit it. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have hit it if I would have kept track. But I'm going to try to keep track this year, and hopefully that will help us do it more. So, spend more time outside. I know my children spend so much time outside. They probably hit it, but I probably didn't. Um, so this is going to be something that's hopefully going to help me be more, like, intentional about it and stuff like that. So, that's another thing I want to do. And, like, doing, kind of, taking things a little slower. I have kind of wiped off some of my, I've kind of slowed down in some of my hobbies slash businesses. Um, so that I have more time for some of these things. So I, I can already tell like a pretty big difference that I've had more time to spend with my husband and kids in just literally the last 10 days, whatever it is. It's like, what is it? It's like the 13th, it's January 13th today. Just in this, in this year, I've already, I can already tell a difference in some of the things that I've stopped that I can focus more on these things. So. Hopefully, hopefully this will be a stellar year in this and my goal for YouTube, like I said, I want to try to post a video every year and I would like to hit, I don't know, I don't know what's a good subscriber account, but I would like to hit 5,000 subscribers. I'm at only like 1,500, not quite maybe, I'm not even sure exactly what the amount is. I know it's somewhere between 13 and, I think it's somewhere between 13 and 15, last I checked. So I would like to hit 5,000. I know it's probably unrealistic, probably won't happen, but I'm just gonna plan that it will. Because, I mean, you have to believe for it to happen, right? So, <laughs> yeah, if you, if you want to help me out, you could hit the subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, and click all. And then you'll be subscribed to my channel as well. If you know of anybody that would enjoy these videos, you can share it with them and maybe we'll be able to hit the 5,000. Anyway, I hope you guys have a really good week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and your support. Feel free to leave a comment down below on how you feel about goals for the year. How do you feel about New Year's resolutions or goals or what do you guys do to um, improve things in that aspect and another thing I just want to say if you made it this far 
you need a thumbs up because <laughs> um, I am very rambly and I don't know if I had any points in this whole thing because I jump back and forth so much. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.